Hello and thank you for joining in. My name is Nkeme Luago and today we would be looking at groups in the Zoho Admin Console. Alright, we will be looking at how you could create and manage your groups in the Zoho Admin Console. So to get started, log in to mailadmin.zoho.com with your administrative credentials. Okay, and uh, once you are logged in, scroll down and click on groups. And that will basically bring you to the page for groups. Here you can create groups, you can import groups, you can export groups, and you can even filter for groups as well. Okay, so let's get started with creating groups. So to create a group, you click on the create icon. And that brings you to this page where you can you know type in the group name let's say this is a group for the hedgehog team then you type in the name of the group you type in the email address for this group as well and the description now here you choose some access to the group for example who can send emails to the group is it everyone that is both internal members, external members, or is it only members from your organization? Is it only the group members or moderators? Do you want to enable streams for this group? So streams is a Zoho tool which enables communication and email collaboration within a team or a group of people. So I could choose to enable you know, streams for this group as well. I could even upload a photo and I'll click on proceed. So here I get to add the members of the group. Okay. So here I get to add the members of the group. I can search and add users. I can add members with their email addresses. I can add all organization users and I'll click on create. And that would go ahead and add, you know, everyone in the organization into this group. And once you are done, it would say, you know, the group has been created. It would display the group name and the email address. You can go ahead and click on go to the created group and that will take you to the group. And here you can review some details about your group. For example, if I click on general, that shows me details about the group. You can click on members to see the members of my group. Okay. I can also see oh, who is a member, who is a moderator, what is their status, are they active or inactive, uh, do they have the option to, you know, uh, approve posts, and can they send using the group email address. So there are some cases where you would want the members of the group to be able to, you know, send emails as the group, for example, a support group. And you want the members to be able to email as the group email address. You can actually do this from here. You could allow certain members to email as that group. Okay. You could also add more members to the group. You could import members, export, bulk remove and filter for members of the group as well. You have your anti-spam. You have the moderation for the group as well. Okay, you have the advanced settings also where you can look at the policies of the group, the permissions of the group, the notifications. You could also look at the group alias, delivery, okay, auto response to the group, failure threshold, restrictions to the group and domain restrictions as well so basically this you know just gives you an overview of your group you could also click on the recent activity to review recent activities for this group okay so thank you so much for joining in i hope you know you've learned a thing or two from this demo that we just had uh, please like share and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you